Hello, my name is Daniel Kochmański. This is my second video about Klim. The first one was uh, made uh, on St. Nicholas Day. Uh, I have uh, described some core concepts of Klim. I have presented some applications, basic syntax. And by, by the end of this video, you should already know that Klim is different. And if you're interested how it is different, you should read this post on the left, How is Klim Different by Robert Strand. It was reposted from Usenet group on random state net. Definitely worth reading. Today I want to talk about how Klim is similar. But first let's make some recap of uh, the previous uh, session which uh, during which we have created Klim application. So let's get into let's define package gadget demo Klim Lisp is equi equivalent of common Lisp package. It has no Klim specific symbols, but it shadows some of common Lisp symbols to provide gray strings for that instance. Let's load packages which we will use. Uh, define application frame resembles dev class. It also defines more things, but you can inherit, you can put super classes here, you can define slots, which are frame internal state. Each application frame uh, is instance of one application with a window and its views internal state, which is conveyed in, in the slots. We provide panes. <coughs> we abbreviate them with uh, keyword, which is resolved by Frame Manager, and Frame Manager is responsible for finding concrete implementation of, of pane we want. They may be different between different backends. They might need some additional mixings. Display. We provide display function for our application, which is uh, by default, it is called at the end of each command loop. And redisplaying is not the same thing, displaying and redisplaying is not the same thing as uh, painting on, on a sheet, on canvas. This uh, is uh, relevant with output record history. Because when we draw on stream, we record output. So since it is recorded, we may redraw only parts which were damaged on the screen. And our, our pane uh, has inside it, uh, it, it has all objects which were printed on it. And display is called at the end of each command loop iteration. And command because commands modify state of our application, so we are displaying a new uh, content of it. Of course, we may have many layouts of the application. We we'll have only one right now. And we can uh, specify geometry of our application.
Okay, so here we provide some display function. We will draw a rectangle at the point denoted by our frame state. Actually, it will be a square. And I have created it as generic function because I like to have one name for display functions, but it might be any any function name. And I w want to specialize them on application frame types. Make application frame uh, function is similar to make instance. Okay, let's try to run it. We started, we have this rectangle. We want uh, ability to manipulate, manipulate it. We want to set it at another point. Did you notice that I use uh, verbs here? I want to set the rectangle. So, Klim at its core is about verbs. We are talking about action and then we specify their arguments. In traditional toolkits, we talk with nonce. I push this button and something happens. I scroll this, this thing and uh, the content moves. So instead of I'm moving content by scrolling this, I'm I'm saying that I scroll this, this thing, I click this thing and move it, and then content changes its state. This is a difference between clean and non clean in my, um, in my head. So let's define command. Correct. Let's name it rectangle. Uh, we specialize commands on uh, presentation types. Commands in, in command loop are execute are uh, evaluated in dynamic state of application frame. Let's try it. Use function rect. and it has been redisplayed at different position. So let's add some presentations and we're done with this recapture. Prim with output do list We specify its value, its ty type of the object which we print, and wh where do we present it. And then we draw something on a screen, which will be our presentation.
we start from 200 here. Okay, we have these three uh, three cir circles. Each one of them is integer. You have to believe me. And when we call rect, we can select this rectangle, but we can select integer arguments. We have a hint that we expect integer. So, 300 and 100. And here we have 100 and 300 pixels. In the future, we want to make it position independent uh, pixels, not not normal pixels, but it's not implemented yet. Once again, we have a Mickey Mouse, and this is all regarding recapture of the previous screencast. Let's move to the gadgets. Right now, we will talk about gadgets. We were talking about verbs, now we'll talk about nouns. How Klim is similar to other toolkits. We provide abstraction to allow creating traditional widgets or even to map into traditional widgets, widgets in uh, toolkits being backends. At the moment we are not doing adaptive toolkit thing. But if somebody would want to write such uh, such backend, then he would just look already existing uh, gadgets, widgets, as gadgets in Clean. We communicate with gadgets through defined protocol. So when we want to create a new gadget, we create first abstract gadget, which defines this protocol and we have concrete implementation. Each abstract gadget has to have at least one concrete implementation which is generic for Clean and has look and feel provided by Mac Clean. So let's start coding, programming. Let's untie this method from generic. So, so we can create yet another method for, for our gadget. Run, right? So we are basically here right now. We'll create primitive gadget. We define new gadgets by subclassing basic gadget. So the class primitive gadget clean basic. Many classes in, in CLIM uh, are uh, divided into a protocol class, like CLIM gadget, and its basic implementation. So methods usually do not specialize on this, they specialize on this. So if somebody would have, would have wanted to create his own implementation of many primitive things, uh, but you would to want to make it working with other parts of him, then he might subclass gadget. But basic gadget has many gadget related methods defined. We don't have slots. Uh, application frame. Gadget frame. Note that I'm not note that I'm not using paints option, but pane. 
if I have only one thing I want to display in application frame, then I don't need layouts, I don't have many panes like here, so I can use pane. And I can either put here object if I have some gadgets already created, or I can create it with make pane. We use this function and we may provide here a uh, generic name. Uh, which which would be ma mapped by frame manager into some concrete class, or or you we may provide uh, class symbol primitive gadget. So in this situation we don't have layouts option. We can't specify more than than this one thing. If we want to have application frame with single application pane, which takes whole screen, we could write application and we can add display function, display and we're done. Okay. run function will be a little more, more general frame type and gadget frame by default uh, gadget size is 200 pixels by 200 pixels. So that's all. We have a gadget. We're fine. Um, we want to add some behavior. So uh, our primitive gadget will become simple gadget with uh, repaint function and handle event. So uh, always on top. Let's make it a simple gadget. We'll define methods for it. That method cream handle repaint. Gadget. Simple gadget. And some region. We'll repaint all of it anyway. Simple gadget. What about now? So, our gadget has visual appearance. Notice that uh, we are not defining display function for it because uh, there is no display. One of mm, advantages of gadgets over stream panes, which are applications, which have commands, presentations, they are much simpler conceptually. There are less things you need to know about to get going. Uh, Raspberry Paint, this is canvas, we can paint on it. We may simply handle events and we specify what is the size of gadget. And also we implement our custom defined protocol. Uh, I wouldn't be able to spec well I would be able to specialize handle repaint on sheet but uh, on application sheet but it's it's not something we want to do it is breaking the abstraction so no we can't do that uh, we want we can do that with uh, paints and we can uh, also specialize method handle event handle event 
and our event will be cream pointer button release event. Uh, maybe not release, but press event, and we'll move it somewhere else. We'll create abstract gadget because that's how uh, Grim specification says that we need abstract version of the gadget, which uh, which has some protocol defined on it, and after that we provide concrete implementation, which is generic. So that class abstract simple gadget clean basic gadget and this this one is not displayed at all it doesn't concern about display it doesn't concern about events this is about protocol okay and we subclass it gadget and this is generic and we could have uh, provided different class, uh, let's say um, artificial intelligence simple gadget, which doesn't handle events from window manager, but plugs into microphone, listens to you, computes what it has to do and calls some methods defined by it. And it is displayed differently, it's not displayed on the screen but on, on some 3D display. Right now we we'll want to have color here. Image form, clean, dark red. So our handle event will uh, change the color of our simple gadget. Dark red. Generic. Generic. This won't change anything because we don't call handle repaint. We have to make these things manually. It will repaint things if we actually change size of a window or whatever. Ah, we want to make it dark blue because this is the same color we already have. I have pressed it, nothing, but when I will resize window, it gets repainted automatically. But I can call the function directly, and that's what I'm gonna do. Repaint sheet, and we call it on gadget. Do I? Ah clean everywhere. Mm -hmm. You see, I've clicked it and changed color. So let's make it more flashing. When I release the button, it comes back to dark red. This is way more interactive. Do you agree? I hope, I hope that you do. And there is no output history here, so it is and it is not displayed, it is simply repainted and events are handled in different loop than command loop. It is called event loop, it is much faster because it, each event uh, is distributed to sheets which are clients of the of this. So this works pretty nice. Also there is third function 
which we want to implement. It is called Compose Space. Uh, we, Cream has so-called layout protocol, and when we want to put things on a screen, we have to figure out which sheet, which pane, which gadget uh, has what size. So we need to each uh, element needs to specify what are its minimal requirements, optimal size, and maximal size. And after first pass, when we ask uh, how much it will take, we lie things on a screen. That method, cream, compose space. And here we have gadget, generic simple gadget. Right. Clean make space requirements. As you can see here, we provide our requirements. So the bare minimum will be 50 by 50. Width will be clamped. This is function defined in Alexandria. Let's provide remaining arguments max. So we started, and right now we have, since we have only one pane, there is nothing to manage by, by the layout protocol, only that we can't resize frame uh, under certain size and over some size, as we have defined. So these are our requirements. And this may change, uh, change uh, during the course of time. Like we may expand this, we may add more elements, and if it doesn't have scroll bugs, then we uh, have bigger size, which is demanded by it. So we have already discussed simple gadget creation. We have created a gadget which has some interactivity to it. We have discussed event loop, handling events, composing space. Time to do something more useful. We'll talk about tree gadget. Uh, common. Uh, Cream specification doesn't have a tree gadget, so it's not part of MacCream. Something definitely useful when we want to go through some data to review it. So let's start coding it. First, we'll make this gadget frame more useful for general case. That slot will be called G type with init arc gadget type init form sim generic simple gadget and a reader gadget type right and we'll create pane of type gadget type We are already in frame dynamic environment when we create such uh, frame. And let's modify run. Rest arcs apply frame type arcs. So 
when we run, we should have our frame. Okay. Dev class abstract tree gadget. Notice that tree, its uh, handler to the tree we are going to display is part of abstract ga gadget. It's not part of its realization because it is something what we try to present. So it will be slot in abstract tree gadget. Good. And this will be immutable as well as gadget type. Let's see. Okay, and let's define some sample method for it for drawing. Draw some text. We uh, draw it at uh, top left corner, so we don't want to align our uh, string to baseline because it would be hidden. We'll align it to top. See if it works. It works. We have stop here. Mm. Right. So let's let's have some tree which will display. Uh, to do that, I will use library I'm working on, which is called Clast. It's far from being finished, but it has a tree protocol and uh, in my unit tests I have some sample data which we can uh, present to uh, on the screen. We have a hash title. So this tree protocol is, for our use, is very simple. We just use class, list children, and provide parent. So there is no magic in it. The list and it returns uh, a collection, a, sequ a sequence. We also have function class, which is not part of the protocol yet, name. That's what we'll use.
I'm gonna print top level entries for now. Children, but least children. We don't increase uh, white immersion, so we have to take card care of it as well. We want to have size of our text, uh, text style high probably. Hmm. No, not really. Um, text size. Let's see what text size does. Text size returns five values, total width of the string, the total height of the string, the final x cursor position, which is the same as the width, the final y cursor position, and the string baseline. So we are interested right now in the second value. Mm -hmm. We count from zero, remember. All right. And as we can see, we have uh, four projects because Clast is common list tests go east. This, is a, this will be application to manage tests, not to execute unit tests, but to create test suits and assign manual or automatic execution to create test plans. So this is orthogonal and this is a pun because in English we say that something gone south. So they are not going south, they are going east, so it's not the opposite direction, We, but it's it's completely orthogonal. I think that this joke is not easily translatable to English, so... Okay, so time to add some behavior. We want to expand our tree or uh, make it smaller depending on, on what, whenever... Uh, depending on whenever it is expanded or not, so it will be state of generic tree gadget. This is part of presentation, this is not part of, of tree state. Uh, init arc init form new accessor No, we don't want to provide accessor, we want to provide function which will toggle it. Reader 
expand it. Right. Uh, and we'll handle some basic event which will be pressing button on top of our generic tree gadget and it will toggle our tree. We also want to customize the behavior, so if the tree is toggled, we repaint recursively everything. Okay, uh, let's do this, this should present node, and if tree is expanded then we do the same on each child. Let's see if it works. Huh? It workish. This is uh, interesting part because um, because of two reasons. Let's ignore toggling tree for now. We see this text, and when we click it, it gets bolder. That's because uh, rendering strings is not idempotent, and we are not repainting background. So if we want to prevent this weird behavior, we want to draw a background on each uh, repaint. Also, uh, also we have to do that because we toggle tree, so we have it repainted over and over again. If we had just painted rectangle right previously, there wasn't such need because uh, drawing was always the same. We don't have to do it manually, we have a special mixer for that. Always repaint background mixing. Uh, if, uh, if you don't have the most recent MacLim uh, and maybe your libraries are lagging, right now it's not in uh, MacLim yet, uh, on QuickLisp yet, it's not exported in Clim extensions, so you may want to access Clim internals package internally. But 
I'm going to use it because we have exported it today. Basically. Yes, for the very pur purpose of this video. So we repaint it and we don't see any glitches when, when we draw strings. Since it is a tree, we want to have some um, indent. So it is it is not flat. I can't see what is parent and what is who are its children. So let's introduce car and x, which starts at zero. Car and x. That looks a little better. Not perfect, but better. Uh, another thing, we change size of our gadget, so we want to compose space accordingly, so it gets expanded as we want it to. Method clean compose space gadget generic tree gadget key with I. And what are our values? We have to maintain it in. We have to maintain current. After repainting, we have to preserve what is our current high and what is our x size. We want to have some minimal values, so it's it's not totally small. And we want to start from something, so when we increase current Y, if it exceeds our max Y, then, then we adjust it. Same goes for X. Okay, and same goes here. Well, not really, because we are not interested in the indentation, but uh, we are more interested about text size. So we are going to do it this way: multiple value bind text with text high. Text size. Okay. And we're going to increase current high by text high. same but regarding max x 
gadget, it will be max between itself and current x plus text width. Hopefully that works for us. We'll put some uh, st straight, very, uh, very strict size requirements. And we'll ignore width and high. And it doesn't seem to work actually. Why it doesn't work? It doesn't seem to be concerned with my requirements for now. Uh, okay, so it isn't changed for some reason. Ah, okay. We have one more function, which is called the change space requirements for gadget, and this invo involves layout protocol. And this works as desired. You see it is minimum, minimal size, more or less, with some minimal values, uh, which conveys our Tree. Let's provide some bigger values. We should change space requirements not after handle event but after repainting because this is what changes our requirements. Okay, looks good. Now we want to add also some uh, visual visual clue whenever our text has our node has children or not. Let text if class 
Children. Format new that it has children. Otherwise, nothing. All right. Also, if uh, it is not expanded, then we'll draw minus instead of plus. looks like okay tree I see some problem with embedding uh, with uh, alignment but let's leave it as is for now okay so we have successfully created tree gadget which shows whole tree in one go. The next step will be adding fixed font to it because we don't want uh, text to move to left and right depending on whenever it's minus or plus. It's for simplicity. We could uh, arrange things different way. So let's, let's add default text style. Init arcs. Style. Family is fixed. We don't specify face and size will be normal. If we specify text style for draw text, it will be merged with it with these default values. Let's see if it works. That's much better. As you can see, embeddable common list doesn't move. Same for, for other X uh, indentation. Also add extra space here. Right. Now we'll focus on adding output re recording. To our gadget we don't want to maintain output record displayed history but we want to hold buttons to expand and collapse individual nodes so we create a new slot called buttons in form map instance And that sequence output record. We're not interested in history. History is just top level node. Either way, se sequence output record and tree output record are both uh, compound output records which have their children. They are also a tree. Uh, tree or sequence. Okay, and we'll create a custom output record. The class tree node output record. 
this is a mission in the spec that uh, basic output record is not exported in clean package so we'll access internal symbol in mark clean in clean internals package slot node init arc node init form error we force providing init arc for it okay so after drawing text we We will uh, draw. Uh, we will add output record to our buttons. Theme add output record. It takes child. We'll create one. So theme make instance node output record. Let's see basic output record. Uh, inherits its superclasses are standard bounding rectangle and output record. So we'll have x1. This is bounding rec rectangle protocol. We'll fill these values in a second. And we have one more init arc, which is node. And node is node, of course. So it starts at current x. And it ends after three characters. Since, since we use fixed font, then uh, it shouldn't make much difference. we put here and do similar for y okay so we have these values and for the backing purposes we will draw also a rectangle on, on them so maybe we will do something of this in this spirit multiple value bind with text high let x1 current x current y Plus text width and plus text high. Right? So let's draw a rectangle also.
no problem like instance ah sorry about that and we add it to the record which is buttons our gadget and define variable color it's ink because we draw on, on a sheet of paper so it is ink not color we don't draw with color we use inks and here we have a typo okay let's see how it looks like and this looks pretty good so we have these output records and we want to be able to click on individual entries and expand them also we don't want accumul accumulate old output records so we're going to do clean clean clear output record buttons gadget right and Right now we'll toggle three gadget only if one of our output records is clicked. And if we click somewhere else, if we press button somewhere else, nothing will happen. Map over overlapping. Ah map over output records containing position. That's it. So you see the cream has this machinery, so we use some existing abstraction which is not av available for gadgets by default. It's for uh, full blown uh, application panes and streams, but we still can use, use it and it takes a function. And, uh, Buttons, gadget, and position. We extract position from our event, so we don't. We're not ignoring it anymore. And we know that we won't have overlapping buttons, so when we reach the point we are interested in, in this lambda will just drop from the function. So uh, upper mechanism doesn't look for other records. Right now we are going to ignore node, later we will try to toggle individual node. Let's see if it works. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Why is that? Let's print some debug info.
Okay, we are mapping, but nothing is found. Let's see how the function works. Goes for children. Detection rectangle. Nothing overly complicated here. position looks reasonable and let's see output uh, records so green map over output records lambda record Ah, okay. Uh, I didn't provide arguments for it. Let's see. They are. They have all dummy coordinates. So there is something wrong with our making us. Seems. So let's look at standard bounding rectangle definition. It goes after standard rectangle, it goes after rectangle. And we have things. This should work. Doesn't. For some probably crude reason. Okay, we have here initialize instance, which does something what we, we don't want to have. So let's create our own initialize instance.
works any better, right? And now it works as, as expected. So let's remove this debug statements. Debug IO is not bound by Vim never. It's so we can use it to print on, on the underlying console. And as you bind it yourself, of course. So when I click somewhere else, nothing happens, but when I click here, and everything is toggled. So in, in uh, we have uh, output records in our gadget, so let's focus on mixing node state. Because in each node wants, uh, needs to have some function with the node whenever it is expanded or not. So we want to have function which is expanded p called on node. We could have a hash table being part of gadget, which maps uh, all nodes into expansion values. So then we expanded p function would uh, try to look for a node in a gadget, and this node is in this hash table, then, then we would know it. But I want to show another technique, which is something hacky, but it's uh, interesting enough to, to show it. Let's load stealth mixing. Stealth mixing actually uh, allows us to hack existing class hierarchy from external library to add our own parent. Not something I recommend for applications usually, but stealth mixing fine stealth mixing. We'll call it expandable node. It won't have any super, super classes and it has victim class. Victim class is class we are going to modify. Last the parent mixing. Expanded init form new reader expanded p. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna keep stealth mixing. I don't want to prolong this video by debugging library I barely know. So we'll use the orgi original solution I came up with. So generic tree gadget will have expand the expanded will be a hash table.
So we are going to toggle node, which will take gadget and, and node from how it's called. We don't have a reader yet. Note of the record. works that's it we can expand individual nodes our three gadgets I'm happy that it works so now let's try to use our gadget in application frame because gadgets may be put in the application as is they don't they are not necessarily treated as panes. And this will be a separate part. Clean, define, application frame. application geometry with high scroll bars application frame our application. Then let's add display function. with output as gadget let's see how it works Invokes body to create gadget and then creates a gadget output record that contains the gadget and installs it to the output history of the output recording stream stream. Okay, here we see our gadget. There are some problems with composition themes. I, I won't uh, tackle them now. 
I'm just signaling that there is such possibility. Probably we could use sweep room for graphics for that. But the point is that we can embed gadgets in application frames, not, not as part of layout, but part of sheet we draw on. Initially, I have wanted to talk a little about paint realizers, about adaptive toolkit, frame managers, and look and feel realization, but I've come to the conclusion that this video is already long enough, and uh, this is also a separate topic, so I will skip it right now. So, thank you for watching. Uh, it is 28th right now. Uh, I invite you to join the channel Klim at Freenode if you have any questions. My nick is Jack Daniel. You may contact me on email at Daniel uh, Tartuware. Tartuware. Some Some notes regarding recent changes in our repositories. We have moved MacRim project to MacRim GitHub group. group. Previous URL is still active because we have transferred the project to underline that it is community project, not personal project. And I think that's all. Thank you for watching. See you next time. I appreciate all feedback you can give me. Bye.